So I had a YouTube community page poll on which video game music we should do next, and Nier Automata was the clear winner here. So we're going to be checking out Amusement Park. I'm excited. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, before we get too far in the voice here, this beginning, I like the vibe. It's a little bit spooky. The way the uh, we have some tubular bells, some chimes that greet us right away. And then it's like a glockenspiel bell melody uh, going on. That's really nice. And like a little just repeated rhythm in our recording instrument that just it sets the mood immediately. Oh, and a bass drone, of course. I love that change right there. Ooh. Okay, the chord progression is going completely, it's more, uh, there's more variety than our beginning kind of little spooky setting. So I kind of take that back, but I like the addition of the boom, 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 to get a boom, 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 a little groove with the piano and our subtle strings that kind of are in there. Back five, let's keep going. <laughs> Suspended fourth resolution there. A little difference on the voice leading. Uh, so the bell part was like consistent the whole time. And even that chording instrument that was playing that the, the repeated rhythm was still down. It was way low in the mix. But it's nice to hear glockenspiel on something. That's a very exposed percussion instrument. I always get so nervous in a like wind symphony or orchestral settings where you have to play that because, I mean, the parts are generally never like that demanding. But the instrument is so loud if you make a mistake. Everybody is going to hear it. All right, back five. Let's keep going. <laughs> enjoying this i feel like this it's nice to hear a little bit of a different chord progression in the use of uh kind of our layout than a lot of the other stuff that we've listened to um we've done a lot more private video game stuff in the in the twitch live stream so this is this is nice i'm really enjoying this i can see why this is popular i will say the voice is it's fitting in nice it's just like in this mid-range we haven't sky we haven't gotten the stratosphere we're not in any super low end it feels nice and uh um not forced just cruising <laughs> Beautiful piano mix, the bells there. Supports voice very well. Uh, 
accommodation and arrangement there with you. Sorry, just be quiet till it's done. Uh, nice combination of the bells and the the piano, the arpeggiation, the way it works. Uh, it's nice when something is this slow. It just really we're just w w pulling back here and just letting everything. Obviously, I can't understand the lyrics, but I'm not so concerned about lyrical content. I like this more to appreciate where the melody goes. But uh, because you know, for me, lyrics get in the way sometimes. I really, really like the sounds and the articulations of said sounds and the way it weaves together versus what happens when you start interpreting meaning from a language. But that's just me. I know some people totally love lyrics and that's their biggest takeaway from music. It's just not the way I experience it. Okay, back five. Let's keep going. Descending baseline here. Very prominent string section. I love the progression. That's fascinating. Suddenly, the good, the good, the good, the good, the good, the good, this halftime groove right here. The good, the the good, the That's cool. Let's go back 10 seconds again to that again. I appreciate that, uh, that, uh, that switch there. Yeah. All the while, the the bell part is still there in the background, even with some um, kind of uh, mimicking the uh, the string line there. I like it. Back five. You take away that string line, that groove feels so different. Percussion is still the same as that previous section. Now that I brought up the loop, actually, I'm not totally sure if our uh, little digital percussion part here was as involved the first time that we heard this exact part. So it might be, it might not be. I don't know. I feel like after the uh, halftime groove that we heard that things have kind of uh, been pretty repetitive, but we're almost to the end though. We'll finish it out here. Look at that bookend, man. We're ending the way we started. Uh, the concept, the way it was executed was really nice. I think the flow was very smooth. It's a cool groove. And we had a couple of different variants within uh, how we kind of constructed that melody and made it, made it real nice. So I'm glad that vote went the way it did.
My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. The links to all my socials are down in the video description below. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.